So the next part is I'm going to put these edges in, I'm going to define these edges. And that's actually not too hard. I don't even care what side they're on right now. But what I'm going to do is put all the edges that are solved on one side, just to kind of isolate it. So turn, bang, turn, bang. So I just replace that, put these both on this side. Um, and now let's see if we can get some place here. Where's the green? Oh, here's green over here. Red, blue, okay. So let's put this green over here. So turn, 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 turn. Okay. okay. So what I'm going to do is double turn this over here. So I can start putting some of these in. So I'm going to go turn. So now I've got these two in place. So I'm going to just um, put these in. So double turn here, turn back. All I'm doing is again, I'm putting them on one side. So this is solved here. So I'm just going to put this here, replace this with this. So turn and turn back. Okay. Now that I've done that, these need to be put in place. And this needs to be put in place over here. And I'm just going to turn back. By turning it back, this is put in. Now I have this one left and this one left. So what I'm going to do, the strategy that I used last time is uh, I'm going to put these two opposite each other. We'll go like um, turn, turn, turn. Turn. Okay, so this is now up, this is now down. So ideally speaking, I can turn this, but I'll, I'll put this in, but I'll mess this up. So my strategy with that is, to, if I've got an orange one here, as you remember by the three by four by five, I'm gonna put an orange one over here so that it'll just flip flop for each other. Oh, actually, no, I can't do that because I don't have two oranges. So I'm just gonna put two of the same color, let's say red. So I'm going to replace a red for this orange here. So move this over here, turn, turn back, and replace back. So I've got one red one over here. I'm going to put the other one, other red one here. Turn, turn, turn back. Okay. So basically all I need to do now is double turn it. So these are all in place. And I haven't disrupted these guys either. Now I got to turn it. Um, now I've got to turn this back. So to do that, I'm going to keep my red one and red one here, and I've got an orange one here. So I'm going to do the reciprocal by putting the orange one and replacing it for this one. So double turn, 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 turn back. So I've got reciprocals here. Just have to turn them upside down. Turn and two and two. Turn and two and two. So turn and there they are. So that was um hope you were able to follow that pretty well, but it's really pretty intuitive, just strategies of moving them to one side and you know doing exchanges appropriately. Now that I have that in, and because I know where my crosses are, I have to place these. So where's most of them placed? Well, here's green. I need to put the red one over here. So I'm going to move this down, turn it back, move it up. This is in place. This is in place. I need the blue one here. Turn and place. Okay. So I've got the cross on this side over here. Now I just have to do it on the top side. Now everything is moved in the proper level. They're just not moved um, in the, with the right center. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that go for now, and uh, I'm just going to solve for the um, for these bottoms here. So blue and orange, doing typical cuboid methodology. This, I can use this one over here. Orange and blue, and this is going to flip-flop when it comes down here. So it's going to be 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. So that's in place. Created parity over here with these two. But that's okay. I can get out of that. Move this back here. Look for the red and blue, which uh, just so happens to be here. 2R, 2R, UI, 
R, took the parity out, put this in. So now I need the green and red, obviously not this one. Uh, looks like this one will do, because it'll go opposite. So 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. So that's in, move this over here, orange and green. One of these two has to be it, and it would be this one. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. Okay, so we have these layers in. Now we just have to focus on this layer over here. To do that, um, everything is up here that needs to be. I look for the sandwich formation, as you re recall. That's uh, one color surrounded by two of the same color. When you see that, move it to the side because we're gonna be doing a corner switch. This will come over here and put all of our corners where it's supposed to be. That algorithm, of course, is 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. And then where you turn from, this turns once by um, UI, and then past the middle, this turns once by D, 2R, UI, 2R, U, 2R. And then move this back. So now we've got our sandwiches on all sides here. So now it's just a matter of swapping um, edges. Got to swap these two. Now bear in mind, if I do that, I could potentially create parity. What I'm going to actually choose to do is, before I start swapping this center, is I'm going to put in the proper corners on the top side here too. I'm just going to do that at the same time. I don't have a sandwich formation here, so I'm just going to create one by moving this to here by doing the same algorithm. But this time I'm turning from the top. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. Now I turn from here in the bottom. 2R, UI, 2R, U, 2R. All right, so now I've got the sandwich formation here. Turn this to the side, same thing. Turn, turn, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. All right, so I did that because now I have just centers and maybe I can do a couple at the same time. So these two need to be swapped. What about the top here? Well, I can swap these two. So no problems. So I'm going to be moving these both at the same time. Move this in. And that algorithm is going to be 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. Two birds with one stone. How about that? A little parody here. That never hurt anybody. Now notice this layer is completely solved, but this layer is not. This layer we have to flip flip flop these guys. So I'm going to turn this over here. Now when I do that, it's going to create something of a parity. This will be taken care of, but I'll have a parity over here. So what I'm actually going to do is fix this parity first. We've been through that in previous tutorials with the Tower Power of how to deal with parity with these edges here when you have two of them. And that's you slice it in the middle here and do 2U, 2R, 2F. 2U, then you slice it above 2U, and then 2F, 2R, 2U, and that takes that parity out. Now we're free to do these swaps. 2U, I'm sorry, 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. And we're good, almost. Now we have this huge parity over here. Well, no problem. What we're going to do is we're going to fix uh, the parity by two steps. First, we're going to fix it from here. We're going to swap these two in. We're going to do that by moving it from here. That's going to be our swap. So that's going to be 2U, 2R, 2F, 2U, then slice it above, 2U, and 2F, 2R, to you. We're right back with that same parity here. So now we swap from here, cutting it just below where you want it to where you want it to switch. So to you, to R, to F, U, to you, to F, to R, to you, and you have done it. You have conquered Tom Z's massive 4x4x6 using 
four by four strategy followed by three by three with three by four by five type um, strategies and then um, and just solving it like a four by four by a three by three by five actually and uh, that's it highly recommend you get this turns great really fun puzzle fun to solve fun to scramble fun to have as part of your collection good job Tom